Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my review for episode 11, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode, I'm pretty sure most people aren't as big of a fan of this as compared to some of the past few episodes, even going back into, you know, the last part of the season, and I have to agree. I thought this episode had some interesting concepts, mainly to do with Iris at some points, and especially the ending, I thought the ending was really good, and I thought the way it started was really good, but then in the middle when you have Amunet Black and also Goldface returning, it's all over the place. So that's just my opinion straight up before going into the breakdown of this episode, because I thought I wanted to tell you first off. I'm not such a big fan of this, even though I've loved this season so far. I thought this was probably the weakest episode yet. But anyway, so it's the Valentine's Day episode. Obviously, Valentine's Day is this Friday. So they wanted to do something like this, where you see, like, Iris and Barry going out, having, you know, their Valentine's dinner and stuff like that. And also you get the stuff at breakfast. So it's all very nice and very kind of optimistic and too perfect. And you know something's going to go wrong, and something does go wrong when, obviously... They're at the dinner, I mean, Black comes in, basically comes for this guy, not even Barry or Iris, and they just so happen to be there. And then that's where the story kicks off for this episode, about this flower that can make you read other people's thoughts and feelings and their mind. Okay, so basically where we left off the episode before, Iris went to investigate at the black hole headquarters and she was dragged into a mirror and that's where we start off the episode but it's not explained right so you know something's wrong and you can tell something's wrong with the opening because iris can make pancakes iris has bought all this stuff iris is doing all of this where if you've seen the past episodes i think it was in season four where they talked about like her king not being very good and that's why barry's kind of scared about it and you know something's off but they don't tell you until the end of the episode and iris is speaking italian it seems like she's really confident in this episode there is something more to her than normal even though she's great normally and she's you know can do all this stuff it's just those little things like the perfect pancakes or like the freshly squeezed orange juice that you know something is off anyway so yeah this is Amunet Black's episode she returns you guys know I'm not a fan of Amunet Black I think Katie Sackhoff does a really bad job and I think she does a bad job in this episode as well I think it's really kind of unwatchable the relationship between her and Goldface, especially those fight scenes. Like, the fight scenes in this episode were terrible. You didn't see anything happening. It was like a bunch of guys shooting laser guns at each other, and those two were trying to fight, but because they're a relationship in the past, they're not actually fighting. And at one point near the end of the episode, there is this fight scene where it just cuts back and forth between them. Amunet's like just making faces and stuff. It's because they're both CGI characters where, you know, the weapons they use are CGI, so they're pretending, and she's just making faces, they're not showing any of the action, and it's really just quite funny, because it actually serves no story purpose for, like, the whole season, it's very much so a filler episode about love, obviously, you know, towards the end, there is more of a link to the actual story, and, I mean, filler episodes are fine, but this episode was not very good, especially because of Amunet Black and Goldface, but also, it was not impactful at all, they tried to, you know, make this love story kind of impactful like they did with Barry and Iris. I thought the Barry and Iris stuff this episode worked really well. The Valentine's Day stuff about their love and them sort of moving on and their relationship and how it's going. I thought that was great. But the stuff with those two, Goldface and Amulet Black, there was no connection. We've had a brief mention of them in the past, like being a thing, but there was no, you know, build up to that. It was just suddenly here they were bickering about like Oh, you stole my records, blah, 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 who cares? And then they start fighting, trying to kill each other, but then they can't kill each other because they like each other. And then you have the flowers, and they read each other's minds, they're happy, and then you get this, like, really, really cringy moment where you get the dolly zoom, the face goes back, they come together, they kiss and whatever, and they do some weird shit on the ground or whatever, and Barry and Iris are watching, and... Yeah, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Those two are not good. I thought the performances were really bad and, you know, those two didn't work together and they don't work separately either because Goldface wasn't good when he appeared last. Amunet Black has never been good. Obviously, she has the really terrible English accent, you know, doing all the stereotypes, bloody right or bloody hell, whatever, stuff like that. And you just can tell that this is 
pure acting. They're just acting. You can't believe in any of this stuff, and it's it's quite funny. I know I'm very passionate about this. You guys know that I didn't like season four. Aminette was in season four a lot, and yeah, I still think she's a bad character. I don't know why they bring her back. I think there's much more interesting characters that you can bring back, and they just seem to try and play it safe with her, even though no one likes her. I, I think, like, maybe a few people like her. Let me know in the comments down below, do you actually like Amunet, or is that just me that doesn't? But, anyway, sorry for being so passionate about, you know, not liking them. I just really didn't think this episode was good at all, to be honest, apart from the Barry and Iris stuff and the ending. Anyway, so we've also got this Killer Frost and Allegra stuff. I mean, some of it works, some of it is kind of like just a repetition of some of the past scenes because they pop up a few times in this episode. I thought the Nash Well storyline was actually kind of interesting and there's this interesting way that they end off the episode, which we'll get to in a minute. But anyway, so Killer Frost and Allegra have this sort of Valentine's Day talk. Allegra sort of meets up with this person she was with in the past or like a crush or something like that. And yeah, so then we have some funny bits with Iris. She's sort of being more tough this episode. Obviously, you can tell, like I said, something's wrong. And Barry's screaming, banana, banana, banana. And I thought that was actually funny because, you know, that's obviously some code word to get out of there. And Barry doesn't want to be the Flash in this episode because then he would be exposed by Eminem Black. And yeah, so back to the fight scenes. You literally see nothing this episode apart from obviously Barry doing a few things, some lasers shooting, no one getting shot. Even though, you know, they're in the open, someone could have shot Amunet straight in the chest or Goldface straight in the face or the chest or anywhere. And, you know, literally nothing happens. It's just sloppy, sloppy TV, I thought, in regards to the actual fight scenes because they were just bad. They were simply bad. And, yes, yeah, so let's move on from that. So Iris is doing stuff on her own. She's got Team Citizen. Barry is finding it kind of hard this episode to understand, you know, her moving forward. And Iris says this very good line, I'm a reporter Barry and I am a darn good one. And basically from then on, I'm paraphrasing, but she's like, I'm going to do my shit. I'm going to do my stuff and, you know, be who I want to be and progress this. And, you know, you're going to have to accept it. So Barry is kind of stuck in the past, I would say. But obviously at this point, you kind of know there is some sort of struggle between them. And Barry kind of questions when he later talks to Joe, are they growing apart? And Joe reassures Barry that they're not. So that's some of the sort of struggle in this episode. Like I said, I did like the Barry and Iris stuff this episode. And you have Nash and Killer Frost talking and drinking about Allegra. And you have, towards the end of the episode, potentially Allegra being revealed as the daughter of Nash Wells. Or, you know, a different version was the daughter of Nash Wells. Because Caitlin actually drops this line, or Frost drops this line, saying, Almost parental and that's an obvious thing that they are referencing to you know last episode we saw a photo of them together and you don't know what's happened there but you can obviously tell there is some sort of relation so it seems like Nash is probably Allegra's dad or a different version of Allegra's dad so also in this episode we have Iris she actually teams up with Aminette Black and Iris wants to read Barry's mind essentially because I don't know I guess it's like you know their relationship and it's a bit confusing because by the end of the episode, it's revealed to not actually be Iris, which we'll get to in a second. So what was the main reason for this? I'm not sure. Maybe there is another reason. Also, I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but there were lots of mirror references in this episode. Obviously, it started off with a mirror, and then we have someone saying, mirroring the branches, and I think this was in a conversation with Nash and Killer Frost, as far as I can remember. You know, obviously a reference to the mirror world. We know Mirror Master's coming up, you know, a different version, and so you have all of that. And then you get the ending of the episode where Barry and Iris are very happy, Valentine's Day, the kissing, the hugging, and then you see a mirror and you're like, oh shit, yes, I remember now what happened to Iris. And you get to see the real Iris in the mirror. She's trapped, she's screaming, she's stuck in the mirror world. And you realize, oh, this version of Iris is not Iris, it's actually this new version of the Mirror Master. So that was a great ending and I loved that. I wish the episode was as intriguing as the ending, and also you see Nash, he turns around and he sees Harrison Wells in CCPD, what the hell is going on there, I have no idea, let me know your theories in the comments down below, I can't really theorise about that too much because I don't actually know, but yeah, so this episode wasn't very good, I did like some bits, I like the Barry and Iris stuff throughout this episode, especially at the start and towards the end, 
And then the ending was really intriguing. I can't wait for next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.